And uh, let's see, there's one more. Okay. All right, so now all of our greetings have a speaker assigned. This is what we want. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to go into the song intros and add the song intro. This is what uh, this is what the DJ is going to say before he plays a particular song. All right. So I'm going to go into my folder here and check what songs I got. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, give them specific names for you know for each song intro. So one of the songs is Climax Rag. So I'll type in Climax Rag intro. All right. Another one is. Uh, tiger Rag, Tiger Rag intro, and Shreveport Stomp. Shreveport Stomp intro, and it'll give you a lot of those <clears throat> spell check errors, which is annoying. Uh, let's see. You rascal, you. Intro. Next one is Oh Lady Be Good. Intro. Okay. Uh, the next one is Riverboat Shuffle. Intro. And the next one is trucking, trucking intro. Okay. Uh, the next one is minor swing intro. Okay. Uh, the next one is coal cart blues intro. Okay. Uh, the next one is the sad intro. And I think there's one more. Yep. Uh, if I had my way intro. Okay. So now that we've got all of our song intros, now we're going to go ahead and add the songs. Okay. Now. Before we do that, we need to make sure that the speaker is still assigned on all of these intros, uh, the same speaker that we had before, which is AHS the dude, or in your case, whatever NPC you have assigned to do it. It can be a NPC that doesn't even exist. It doesn't doesn't have to be a, a real character, but you do have to have uh, an actual NPC to assign the speaker uh, responsibility to uh, because it will generate the mod is going to generate a folder which is going to be the home for all of your audio files so <clears throat> as I said before several times you have to do this if you don't do this it can cause problems for you uh, do, 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 do. despite all of the uh, time I've spent trying to learn dialogue uh, once you get the hang of it it's really, it's really more repetitive than it is difficult. Um, once you get the hang of it, it becomes very, very easy to do once you've done it a few times. So uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this tutorial. I really, really want to see some mods utilizing uh, dialogue and radio. Okay, so I just got all of the uh, song intros uh, designated to the dude speaker now we're gonna go in and actually add the songs now we're gonna have to go back in and, and add all the song names again uh, I like to do you don't have to you can just put one two three four five six seven but uh, keep in mind that if someone else looks at your mod or you even you yourself might forget what song is where so it's it's best idea and I know this from experience it's the best idea if you have any spoken dialogue to go ahead and type it in 
uh, instead of just putting greeting one, greeting two, like I did on Radio Hello. The only reason I did that this time is because I don't actually know what the voice actor is going to say. But once he does them, I'm going to type in the text that he says <clears throat> so that I know what piece of audio is what. All right, so song titles. Let's get this done. Climax rag. All right. Another one. Uh, tiger rag. Okay. And then the next one is Shreveport Stomp. Okay. And the next one is You Rascal You. Next one is Oh Lady Be Good. Okay. And the next one is Riverboat Shuffle. All right. Uh, the next one is Truckin'. And the next one is Minor Swing. Next one is Coal Cart Blues. Uh, next one is The Sad. And the last one is If I Had My Way. Good. Now, same thing applies here. Go back through, assign the speaker. Like I said, you know, once you get used to this, it becomes just force of habit, and you know, it doesn't, it's not racking your brain anymore. You're just kind of going through the motions, repetitive actions. That's what most of this stuff is, repetitive actions. Uh, okay. Almost done here. We're almost to the part <clears throat> to where we add our songs. Which, if you've done the other dialogue tutorial, it is going to be so easy for you. Okay. So... Now we've done all this, we've done quite a bit of work. Let's click OK and save it. Okay, so we don't want it to crash on us and lose all of that that we just did. All right, uh, I'm about to cut the tape again, but before I do, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this one last little thing. Uh, for, our, for every one of our topics, we're gonna have to add a condition uh, for uh, the for the topic and it's gonna have to be and it's in the bottom dialogue that says target function name function info comp va value the uh, modifier or the condition function is gonna be get is ID and then you're gonna have to find your NPC that uh, that you're using and uh, value is going to equal one and Where is it? And it's going to be your your NPC that is um, saying it. The same speaker, the same when we went through and did all these uh, topics and selected the speaker, it's going to be the same one. So in my case, it's A H S C the dude. Uh, get his ID. The dude equals one. All right. Now, <clears throat> cool little uh, handy feature is copy condition. So. On the bottom dialog uh, that we just selected that global for, um, you're going to right click it, copy condition, and then just go through and paste the condition on every single one. All right, it's another repetitive action that we've got to do. And this makes sure that no one else can say 